Welcome back, everyone here to Brax Talks. Today, we got a very special video for you guys. We're going to be talking about some roster moves. Uh, not really exactly what the roster is going to be, but some players that could be taken off the roster, some players that could be added onto the roster, and something to look down for, something to look out for down the stretch. Because um, it seems like there's definitely going to be some roster adjustment, especially, you know, postseason. Getting close, they want to see what they got. Um, so we're going to get all, we're going to get right into it. So Christian, would you like to start it off? Sure thing. First one we're talking about, of course we have to, because everyone's talking about it is Oswald Peraza getting called up. Now he's on fire. You're seeing his highlights on Twitter every day, home run, spectacular play. He's doing it all. Mm. He got off to a really slow start, but his overall numbers on the year are starting to look good. Um, seven seven nine OPS with seventeen homers, and that's a shortstop. So, um, it's really exciting what he's doing. And you might say, well, where is he going to play? He could replace IKF. You can feel how you want to feel about him. Um, he has good moments, his bad moments, but I don't think it could hurt to give Peraza a shot. And if he takes over that role, then give it to him in the playoffs. If he doesn't, all right, then that's why you have your stopgap shortstop. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of different options. I, I'm pretty sure Peraza plays second as well. Um, Could be the, Torres. Well, I, well, the, yeah, no doubt, but you do have a little bit more flexibility there. The Yanks have been um, trying a lot of their shortstop prospects at second base because one of them is going to have to move. I mean, they got Sweeney, Volpe, um, Peraza, list goes on, um, Roderick Arias, right? One, they're not. They can't all play shortstop, so one of them is going to have to move over. So I know they've been periodically moving Volpe over to second and play some games there. Um, basically, everyone in their shortstop, every shortstop in their system. Um, so it does give you a little flexibility there. Um, he could compete with IKF. They could share time. A lot of different scenarios. Like we don't know. He's not called up, so we don't know how it could play out. Uh, you know, IKF just go on a tear and it's like, boom, IKF, Peraza, boom, Peraza, Peraza. But um, part of the reason Peraza hasn't been called up is because if you wait past August 18th you and you bring him up, that doesn't count as a year of service time, um, which the Yankees wanted to get that extra year of service time out of Peraza if they called him up before August 18th. Um, this season would count as a year of service time. But now, past August 18th, whenever they call him up, they won't lose that year of service time. So I would be utterly shocked if Peraza does not get called up at some point. So whether it's just for a stint or whether he makes the roster full time for the playoffs, we'll see. But definitely uh, keep out for Peraza, and I would definitely expect him to get the call soon. Hopefully. Um, we got to talk about Aaron Hicks. He's been pretty awful. Now, there was a point, like, in the middle of the season, uh, maybe, like, a month or two ago, where he was okay. And we were like, all right, we can handle this. But it is just getting to a point where he cannot start and he cannot even be on the bench. He's tied with Glaber Torres for the most double plays with the bases loaded all season um, for the entire MLB. MLB, yeah. Um, even his defense is starting to be a little shaky. And the big thing is you have Harrison Bader coming. So that's kind of another move. And Boone or the Yankees already said he's going to be the center fielder. So if you want to have Aaron Hicks on the bench and have him pinch hit in the ninth and strike out, like Wednesday, sure. But I don't really see value in it. Um, they're tied up in a lot of money with him. So to get rid of him, release him, DFA him, it would be bold. But I we're getting to that point where it's a conversation. I mean, yeah, I mean, this stuff happens, uh, not to the type of degree, but we already saw Dexter foul with the Cubs um, another year on his contract. Cubs already said they're not going to bring him back. The Mets owed Cano a ton of money. They released him. Sometimes, you know, bad contracts are going to happen in this game. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. You know, um, Yankees aren't a small market team, obviously. They, they have loads of money. You made a bad – it was a bad contract. You got to move on. We can't be stingy trying to squeeze any production that we can somehow get out of him. And, and he's only making, you know, ten million this season, and he's he's going to make forty million over the next four years. But 
you know, it's sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta do what you gotta do. And, um, you know, Aaron Hicks has had plenty of opportunities this season. Uh, he still has, you know, Bader's not back yet. So he's, he still has time to turn it around. I mean, it's, it's not a totally lost cause. I mean, but he needs to get going, uh, very soon. And the Yanks have a lot of outfielders, um, you know, once Carpenter gets back, Stanton's going to get back. Um, you know, Cabrera can play the outfield, Moore can play the outfield, and you know, Judge can play center field at a at a at a very high level. Um, and so once he had Bader, it, it doesn't seem uh, much of a point to have Hicks in the roster. You don't really need him as a pitch runner. You have other guys who can do that better, but. Yeah, so I, I would definitely see think Hicks getting off the roster is definitely a possibility for this club. Um, I can't guarantee it with his contract, um, but definitely, definitely a possibility for this club. I would definitely look out, I, and I wouldn't be surprised if he does get DFA'd. Uh, let's talk about someone who's good, Oswaldo Cabrera. Now, he's played in two games um, for the Yankees by the time you're watching this video. And he looks pretty solid. He's got a very nice, smooth swing. It seems like he struggles a bit with plate discipline. Could have just been Corey Kluber, but, I mean, that's pretty common for young guys. Um, he's been really good, though, in the minors, an 863 OPS in AAA this year. And he's been even better since the injury. Now, you might be asking, what's the roster move? He's already on the roster. Well, you have guys like Carpenter, and Stanton coming back, even Bader. So some guys are going to have to get off the team, and we think that could be Marwin Gonzalez. The Yankees have already showed they don't really care much about Marwin Gonzalez. He doesn't play at all, and it's not like he's a crazy defender. So the only time he really gets in the game is if, say, they're pinch hitting for someone who can't play that position. All right, then Marwin has to go in and fill in at short or the outfield, wherever. It's, it's not a big role. And that's when you're in the playoffs, you don't need a guy like that. So I think it's possible that Oswaldo could just take over for Marwin come playoffs. And that would yeah. be a thing, Marwin, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it, but that's going to also come down to how Cabrera plays at this level. Yeah, so, I, I should imagine. So, you know, obviously there's a uh, lot of variables that go into it, but – um. Yeah, I mean, it could happen. And it's kind of funny because Oswaldo Cabrera said Marlon Gonzalez was his favorite player. Um, and he, kind of took, he could replace him. <laughs> kind of took him under his wing in spring training. And, and he, someone Cabrera looks up to because he has that versatility. And with the Yanks in putting Cabrera in AAA, um, oh, sorry, with the Yanks putting Cabrera in the outfield in AAA periodically, um, you know, it's definitely – definitely giving uh, Cabrera more value. And, you know, you never know. It could happen. So similar to Hicks, don't be surprised if that does happen. But it's going to come down to how Cabrera plays. Mm -hmm.